Well, let us now cross over to Upper Hill, where health unions are currently addressing the media. Let's listen in. To Kenyans, allow me to invite my colleagues here so that they can also make their remarks. I want to start with the GS for Kenya Union of Clinic Officers, and then we'll go to the uh, Laboratory Officers Union, and then at last we are going to have um, Dr. Davji from KMPDU. Uh, thank you very much, Chair, uh, fellow comrades, members of the press. Comrade Power! Power! power. Comrade Power! Power! power. Thank you. Uh, we want to say categorically that we, as the representative of the clinical officers and the healthcare workers as a team, we are determined to ensure that we can take the health sector to the next level in terms of the changes that we want. We are not willing to relent. If anyone is thinking that by using the government machinery to continue intimidating healthcare workers, and a sending condescending statement to, to, the, uh, to, to, to the media or releasing press, trying to instill fear to the public that we will change, we are not going to change. I think what we are saying is that everything that we are presented to the government in our strike notice are all of them achievable. And in any case, one way or the other, they are in their own blueprint. So we are only asking them to meet their end of of promises and also bargain because we have agreement with them. Now, if they are not willing to implement what they promised Kenyan to enhance services, so we want to say categorically that uh, we are not going to relent. Specifically, the AG statement, which is actually following up a statement by the Kindiki last week, which they are trying to intimidate and cow us that we should not go for protest. We are saying we, have not, we are not contaminants of any court order and we have not breached any constitution, artic, I mean article on, on the constitution. If there is any, they will have mentioned. So stop fabricating and sending information that are lies. We are determined to bring the change we want. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have the lab union. Comrades, power. power! Comrades, power! power. Uh, my name is Nicholas Odipo, National Chairman, Kenya National Union of Medical Laboratory Officers. Uh, we are here to condemn, in the strongest word possible, the statement of IG Kaome. We want to tell Kaome that the police have so much work to do than to look after the healthcare workers. Right now, the schools in Baringo, the schools in Samburu, the schools in West Pokot and Turkana are closed. Unfortunately, the IG Kaome has never commented on those schools which have been closed because of banditry and criminal activities taking place in those areas. But when healthcare workers who are peacefully demonstrating and exercising them, their rights as per the Article 37 of the Constitution of Kenya, he comes and starts threatening us. That is, he gets strength in that area. We are telling him, tomorrow at 9, p 9 a.m., we shall be on the road and we shall sing, yes. we shall use vuvuzelas, yes. we shall Viva. use whistles, Viva. Viva. we shall dance, Viva. we shall play Viva. music. Yes. Make yes. noise, yes. Go whatever, and please sleep on the road. Yes. Go whatever thing that will happen, yes. we will not be covered, and we will do what we want under the Constitution. Viva. Thank you. Viva. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, uh, comrades. Viva. Viva. Comrades, power. Power. As KMPDU and other civil uh, societies, we've already proceeded to court against the defamatory action and statement that was released yesterday. So I think uh, as a union and as uh, the civil societies will serve uh, the AG onto that because the IG on that, because he can't contravene the constitution. Everybody, every Kenyan is below the constitution and we are all up to comply. On the flip side, I want to say that the government is the one on strike. All these public health sector unions, KMPDU, KUKO and KUMLO, we are all been saying we are ready to meet by the government that has continuously been on strike. And to make it worse, we saw in K 
Kenyatta uh, University Teaching and Referral Hospital, where the university, where the hospital decided to import doctors or to import consultants. Well, various health unions chairs there are insisting that the medical strike is still on until their sentiments are, of course, uh, reached into by the government. Of course, their demands are reached into by the government. That's a story that we are keenly following up on and we'll be giving you a comprehensive, detailed report from that particular press conference in our various sub subsequent bulletins. So please do stick to KTN. And uh, that is where we wrap up KTN News Desk this lovely Monday. Thank you so much for all us trust in KTN. My name is Grace Nganga. Good afternoon.